This video is on cell division. All right, looks like we've got five questions. And so these questions will show up again at the end of the video so that you can try to answer them for yourself. Um, blank is what is the first stage of cell division in both mitosis and meiosis? Um, what is the splitting of the cytoplasm called? And which phase of which phase do the microtubules pull the chromatids apart, causing them to shorten in length? Differences between meiosis one and two, and what is telophase? All right. So we start off with parts of the chromosome. Uh, the kinetochore is a disc-shaped protein structure associated with duplicated chromatids in eukaryotic cells where the spindle fibers attach during cell division to pull sister chromatids apart. The kinetochore assembles on the centromere and links the chromosome to microtubule polymers from the mitotic spindle during mitosis and meiosis. Its proteins also help to hold the sister chromatids together and play a role in chromosome editing. Centromere is the specialized DNA sequence of a chromosome that links a pair of sister chromatids, a dyad. During mitosis, spindle fibers attach to the centromere via the kinetochore. Centromeres were first thought to be genetic loci that direct the behavior of chromosomes. Sister chromatids refer to the identical copies, chromatids, formed by DNA replication of a chromosome with both copies joined together by a common centromere. In other words, a sister chromatid may be said to be one half of the duplicated chromosome. A pair of sister chromatids is called a dyad. A full set of sister chromatids are created during the synthesis phase of interphase or the S phase of interphase, when all chromosomes in a cell are replicated. So let's now look at the phases a little bit. Interphase is the longest stage in the eukaryotic cell cycle. During interphase, the cell acquires nutrients, creates and uses proteins and other molecules, and starts the process of cell division by replicating the DNA. The purpose of interphase in all cell types is to prepare for cell division, which happens in a different stage of the cell cycle. Interphase is its own phase of the cell cycle. It consists of the other four factors of the cell cycle, which are not included in mitosis. Mitosis is a part of the cell cycle in which replicated chromosomes are separated into two new nuclei. Cell division gives rise to genetically identical cells in which the total number of chromosomes is maintained. In general, mitosis, which is the division of the nucleus, is preceded by the S stage of interphase, during which the DNA is replicated and is often followed by telophase and cytokinesis, which divides the cytoplasm, organelles, and cell membrane of one cell into two new cells containing roughly equal shares of these cellular components. Cytokinesis is the part of the cell division process during which the cytoplasm of a single eukaryotic cell divides into two daughter cells. Cytoplasmic division begins during or after the late stages of nuclear division in mitosis and meiosis. Okay, so some more stuff here on mitosis. Uh, and these four stages. Prophase is the first stage of cell division in both mitosis and meiosis. Beginning after interphase, DNA has already been replicated when the cell enters prophase. The main occurrences in prophase are the condensation of the chromatin and the disappearance of the nucleolus. Metaphase is the second stage of cell division in which the chromosomes become attached to spindle fibers. During mitosis metaphase, chromosomes line up in single file line on the metaphase plate and centrioles go to opposite ends of the cell. Anaphase is a stage of mitosis after the process of metaphase when replicated chromosomes are split and the newly copied chromosomes, which are daughter chromatids, are moved to opposite poles of the cell. This is the shortest phase of mitosis. 
And then finally we have telophase. This is the final stage in both meiosis and mitosis in a eukaryotic cell. During telophase, the effects of prophase and prometaphase, the nucleolus and nuclear membrane dis disintegrating, are reversed. As chromosomes reach the cell poles, a nuclear envo envelope is reassembled around each set of chromatids. The nucleoli reappear and chromosomes begin to de-condense back into the expanded chromatin that is present during interphase. Cytokinesis is the splitting of the cytoplasm. This happens once the cell is ready to divide. During cytokinesis, the spindle or apparatus partitions and transports duplicated chromatids into the cytoplasm of the separating daughter cells. It thereby ensures that chromosome number and component and complement are maintained from one generation to the next and that, except in special cases, the daughter cells will be functional copies of the parent cell. After the completion of the telophase and cytokinesis, each daughter cell enters the interphase of the cell cycle. In animal cells, cytokinesis is a cleavage furrow and can only be used to divide animal cells. Contact inhibition is a regulatory mechanism that functions to keep cells growing into a layer one cell thick, which is a monolayer. If a cell has plenty of available substrate space, it replicates rapidly and moves freely. This process continues until the cells occupy the entire substratum. At this point, normal cells will stop replicating. In meiosis 1, the pair of homologous chromosomes are separated and the diploid cells are reduced to haploid. It is divided into several stages that include prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In meiosis 2, sister chromatids separate. Chromosomal replication does not occur between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 proceeds directly to meiosis 2 without going through interphase. The second part of meiosis, meiosis 2, resembles mitosis more than meiosis. Chromosomal numbers, which have already been reduced to haploid by the end of meiosis 1, remain unchanged after this division. In meiosis 2, the phases are, again, analogous to mitosis, prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. Meiosis 2 begins with two haploid cells and ends with four haploid cells. Notice that these four meiocytes are genetically different from one another. In humans, who have 23 pairs of chromosomes, the number of chromosomes remains unchanged from the beginning until the end of meiosis 2. Briefly here on the S phase, uh, the S phase is the phase of the cell cycle in which DNA is replicated. Since accurate duplication of the genome is critical to successful cell division, the processes that occur during S phase are tightly regulated and widely conserved. Synapsis is the pairing of two homologous chromosomes that occur during meiosis. It allows matching up of homologous pair prior to their segregation and possible chromosomal crossover between them. Synapsis takes place during prophase 1 of meiosis. In genetics, chismata is the point of contact, the physical link between two non-sister chromatids belonging to homologous chromosomes. At a given chiasma, an exchange of genetic material can occur between both chromatids, what is called a chromosomal crossover, but this is much more frequent during meiosis than mitosis. And then finally, uh, crossing over occurs after synapsis and is the process by which two chromosomes paired up during prophase one of meiosis exchange some distal portion of their DNA. Crossover occurs when two chromosomes, normally two homologous instances of the same chromosome, break and then reconnect 
to the different end piece. And that brings us back to our five questions. So we talked about these at the beginning. So a great thing to do now is hit that pause button and see if you can answer these questions for yourself.